Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. And you know, when Apple uh, came out with the new iPhone 3G, or it's not new anymore, when they came out with it last summer, uh, they were able to cut the cost of the phone, add 3G services, bump the memory up, all that stuff. But uh, they also make, able to make it a little bit thinner by rounding off the edges, make it feel a little bit thinner anyway. But um, one of the things they gave up in exchange for all that new functionality at a lower price was how rock solid and durable the construction of the original phone was. One of the things I like best about my uh, first gen iPhone was the metal back. I dropped that thing a bunch of times and while it was kind of dented and scratched up and stuff, it still works. The new iPhone with its plastic back is definitely a little bit more fragile. I know people who've dropped it and had it crack. I've heard about cracking around the uh, headphone jack in particular, that kind of thing. So, you know, I recommend to people that uh, if you've got the new iPhone, unless you're very, very careful with it, you might want to use a case. I never used a case on my first gen iPhone, but with the new 3G, I definitely recommend using a case. And uh, one of the cooler cases that I've seen recently is the Spec Candy Shell. Uh, I picked up one of these at Macworld a couple weeks ago, and I've been trying it out, and I like it. Now, part of why I like it is I'm a sucker for kind of weird color combinations like the gray and green here. It reminds me of the old uh, Nike Air Max 95 ne neon and green, the running shoes. Um, but it comes in a few different color combinations. And it's funny because I, I usually like really thin phones and you know I like how thin the, the iPhone is. And uh, the candy shell definitely adds a little bit of bulk to the phone when you put it on. It's noticeably thicker. But there's just something about it that I really like. I think it's, uh, it's a little bit different of a look. And you get, um, you know, you get Fairly solid feeling protection because it's hard on the outside, a little softer on the on the interior, so it's not going to scratch your phone up. But uh, there's just something about it with it in this case. I feel like a, it's a future future pod or something. I feel like it's some kind of gadget from the future with the neon you know accents. But it's still kind of cool looking. It's not all all you know too flashy and over the top. Uh, it's got cutouts for the headphone jack, the mute switch, and the camera, and then it's got these little overlay buttons for the volume rocker control and the, uh, the power hold switch there on top. And so you can, um, you know, you can still control the volume and uh, lock the screen and all that with it still in the case. Uh, they're not cheap, they're 35 bucks each, but they come in four different colors. So if you don't like the, uh, the neon, you know, the green and gray here, there are a couple other color combinations. And they come with a, a screen protector. I destroyed mine trying to put it on. I got all kinds of dust underneath it and I just had to throw it away. Um, for that matter, I tried putting another screen protector on and I messed that one up too. So I don't know, the problem might be me more than, more than spec, although, I don't know, do you guys have problems putting screen protectors on things? Maybe I'm just terrible at it. But uh, there you go, I think it's worth a look. It's the... Uh, the spec, one of the, the down points, actually, before I finish up, one of the down points here is that it's kind of hard to dock the phone with the case on because the case is kind of thick. And unlike some of the other cases, the case doesn't really, uh, you know, bend or stretch that well or even kind of snap down for docking. So depending on what kind of dock you have, it can be a little bit difficult. The headphone jack, uh, it, it's worked with all the headphones I've tried with it. I could see some audio adapters you might, actually, there was one audio cable I had that wouldn't quite fit in. Uh, because there is kind of a, it's almost like on the old iPhone how the jack was so deeply recessed. It's not quite that recessed, but it's a little bit recessed. So if you have a favorite pair of earphones, you might want to try this before you pick one of these up. Again, 35 bucks, not cheap, but uh, you know, it's worth protecting, protecting this device. Uh, a couple little flaws in the, in the plastic color, and you can see there's a little gray dot in the green trim. But otherwise, it's solid. Uh, I've been using it for a couple weeks now. You know, some scratches and scuffs on the back, but you don't really see them. And uh, several times I've taken it out and people have been like, well, dude, that, what kind of phone is that? Oh, that's an iPhone? What kind of case is that? So, you know, for whatever that's worth. There you go. It's the Spec Candy Shell iPhone 3G case. Uh, more on this and, you know, all your other iPhone needs and all your other phone needs too. Spec doesn't just make iPhone cases. They make cases for other stuff. We don't just cover iPhones, we cover all the other phones as well. You can get it all on phonedog.com. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for tuning in.